Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and some Star Wars Battlefront 2 news and some news about another Star Wars project that I guess is sort of a game, sort of an experience. It's a bit hard to say but I will dive into that after the Battlefront news. Starting off when it comes to Battlefront 2 news, Ben posted out on the forums, Reddit and Twitter saying that there will be a hotfix coming out next week. And because of that they're postponing the end of round match making changes until after that hotfix. So unfortunately that's not coming this week as we first thought but it's coming after the hotfix next week. They don't really say what the hotfix is going to contain but my guess are simply some fixes to the squad system because there are quite a few bugs with it right now and I'm assuming that's what they want to fix in the next week's hotfix but they will come back to us with more details about that later. He did also say out on discord that we are looking at making the spawn system troopers only. Maybe not in the hotfix but are, lo but are looking at it and that's something I think a lot of people have suggested so hopefully that's something that will arrive well well, at least soon after the hotfix because I don't think it's very balanced that heroes can spawn on anyone. And something that's also very good to hear is that he mentions lately that also, so you're aware, we're looking to address the health stacking. I know there's been quite a bit of discussion on this recently, further details to follow. And if you don't know what he's referring to, it's basically when, for instance, Finn and Yoda use their boost abilities and combined with the officer or any other character that can boost themselves, which can sometimes cause even normal troopers to have upwards to 5 or 600 health which is incredibly frustrating when you're holding down a point especially now with the squad system so I think that Finn plus Yoda plus soldiers in a squad system can basically make some points completely unreachable so it's good to see that they are indeed addressing the health stacking but now over to the Star Wars VR news and I thought we could start off by simply looking at the trailer Today ILM X Labs announced their new Vader Immortal Star Wars VR series, which is as the name suggests gonna be a VR series and we don't really know what that means as of right now. Based on everything that they are saying around it, it seems a bit like you will be following along a story through a VR headset, but as you can see in the trailer and as they've also confirmed in the text, you will be able to wield a lightsaber, so it also does sound a little bit like a game. My guess for this is that it's going to be something where some of the times you might just be looking around and looking at what's happening, but in other parts of this series you can actually intervene and do stuff with the controllers and similarly. Which sounds like a pretty cool way to tell a story and I'm very excited to see what they can do considering that ILM X Labs have done some crazy good stuff before. So this new Vader Immortal series is going to be a three part series set in between episode three and four and at least the first one will take place on Mustafar inside Vader's castle that we could see in Rogue One. It's coming out in 2019 to the Oculus Quest, a newly announced headset that is actually wireless which I think sounds pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna be exclusive to Oculus or if it will be on HTC Vive or similarly as well. I can't don't actually have any VR headsets so I could consider buying one but I'm not sure if I want Oculus Quest for $399 only for this experience but I guess we will probably know closer to launch it could just be that they're promoting it on Oculus Quest although it could be used on all VR headsets but yeah that's really all we know about that project as of right now I will hopefully play it here on my channel next year when it's released it depends on how it actually works with a wireless headset and if I can record that somehow but I hope I can I mean they probably want people to be able to share their experiences so hopefully that's something they uh, will have thought about but yeah that is all for this video thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you